For more than a century, the identity of this mummy has been a mystery. Its coffin lid, which may have contained essential identifying information, has never been found. In the 1970s, researchers believed they uncovered the sex of the mummy through the examination of pelvic x-rays. However, the results only deepened the mystery. While the mummy was thought to be male, the coffin was made for a female. Recently, CT scanning has been employed to see if the mystery surrounding the mummy, such as its sex, health, age and how it was prepared after death, could be solved. Determining the sex of the mummy required CT scans of the whole body. This is so multiple measurements could be taken and reviewed against male and female size ranges. CT scans of the pelvis, skull, jaw, arms and legs have led researchers to the consensus that this mummy is in fact female. While the pelvis is male-like, the mummy has a more feminine body overall. The scans have found that the woman was generally in good health before she died. However, a number of minor problems were uncovered. Scans of the ankles, knees and hips showed calcification, an early sign of arthritis, while scans of the jaw revealed significant tooth loss and a number of painful abscesses. When all the evidence surrounding her health was considered, it became apparent that this woman was probably no younger than 35 and no older than 60 when she died. No evidence as to how she died has yet been discovered. Another mystery surrounding the mummy is how her body was prepared after death. Usually, Egyptian embalmers removed a person's brain via their nose. Oddly, this woman's brain seems to have been removed via a space created between the spine and the skull. The significance of this untraditional approach is not yet known. All of this woman's major organs have been removed, including the heart, lungs, kidneys, liver, stomach and intestines. In place of some of these organs are shaped pieces of dense inorganic material and cloth. This was done to give a lifelike structure to the body, which had been rendered skin and bone by the mummification process. The material this body is actually filled with is still under investigation. The way the linen was wrapped around the body indicates that some care was taken during this woman's mummification. The scans reveal that both arms were individually wrapped before being bound to the body with many layers of varying qualities of linen. Hundreds of metres of linen may have been used to wrap the entire body. For a large part of its history at the Australian Museum, this mummy has been on display. To ensure its longevity, conservation assessments and treatment have been carried out. The assessments found that this mummy was reasonably intact, but its linen wrappings were extremely brittle and at serious risk of further damage. Stabilising the linen wrappings took three months and included treatment processes such as humidification to relax folds and creases, as well as patching and stitching. After this, a fine netted body stocking made of nylon was sewn around the mummy to immobilise and protect the fragile linen. The mummy was then carefully returned to its coffin. After more than a hundred years of investigation, it's still not known who this woman was. Perhaps we'll never know. However, new information will continue to surface as research on this mysterious mummy continues.